Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and as we continue with the tribute to Robin Williams, since I just previously reviewed Mrs. Doubtfire, which happens to be one of my favorite comedies of all time back in the 90s, I'm going to review another good flick from 1986, and it's a very underrated one, called Club Paradise, which is a comedy that was directed by Harold Ramis, who gave us you know, Caddyshack, as well as... Um, National Lampoon's Vacation and all that, yeah. But this was actually the film that got me into Robin Williams' uh, surprisingly uh, successful career. I mean, this was one of his uh, underrated ones that he had uh, before, and this was like after all of his other films that he did before this, like he did The Best of Times in 1986 with Kurt Russell that same year. He also did other films like The Survivors, Moscow on the Hudson, and all that. You know, after his TV series, Mork and Minnie got canceled. That was one of the greatest shows of his career after making his appearance on Happy Days. But this one was the movie I got to see on Select TV back in 1987. And it was actually a very funny movie when I watched it. I remember we, I, I started watching um, lots of funny scenes in the film that went into it, and it's just amazing that, you know, Robin Williams was like one of the funniest guys of ever, he also has a great smirk that he makes when he does all that stuff, and he smiles like, you know, like he's a, <laughs> like he's a trooper, he's, he's definitely one of the kind, and I always love him. But anyway, um, it also had a great cast too, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to get right to it. It stars Robin Williams, with Peter O'Toole, Rick Moranis, Jimmy Cliff, Twiggy, Adolf Caesar from the movie The Soldier Story. This was, of course, his last film, by the way, because he passed away before it got released. Eugene Levy. Yeah, from SCTV and went on to do other films and other shows. He did a film with John Candy called Armed and Dangerous. That was a good one. I love that one. And of course he did the American Pie films, so that was cool. Joanne Cassidy, Andrea Martin, yep, from, also from SCTV. She also did the movie My Big Fat Group Wedding and all all this other stuff she's done and voice acting. Like, in the Neutron Boy Genius. Brian Dahl Murray, the older brother of Bill Murray, and he's been in some movies too. In fact, he's been in movies that was directed by Harold Ramis as well, including Caddyshack and Groundhog's Day. Yeah, perfect. Joe Flaggerty, been a lot of stuff as well. Stephen Campman, Carrie Lowell, and Bruce Miguel. Once again, it's written and directed by Harold Ramis, with Brian Dahl Murray as the co-writer as well. The movie begins when a Chicago ex-firefighter named Jack Monkier, who's played by Robin Williams, who actually gets injured on the job by a huge fire in the building. Using his disabled money, he decided to retire and live a good life in a small Caribbean island known as St. Nicholas. He buys a small amount of property there and he lives among other washed up personalities such as Anthony Coden Hayes, who's played by Peter O'Toole, and, and Miss Philip Lloyd, who's played by Triggy, who actually visit in St. Nicholas with some of the sailor friends of hers, decides to stay permanently and become Jack's girlfriend in the process. He prayerfully refers her as Miss Philadelphia. But of course, all of this had became more financially troubled with the reggae musicians Ernest Reed, who's played by Jimmy Cliff, and they together had formed Club Paradise, which is kind of marketed as sort of like Club Ned in that sort of way, complete with a brochure that features photographs of, of every various um, tropical beaches and all this other stuff that they have inside the this particular resort that they have. And they invited a handful of tourists 
including Barry and Barry, both played by Rick Moranis and Eugene Levy, who are there for the pot and the woman. Yeah, since they, they do small lots of pot. They also include um, a New York Times traveler writer, Terry Hamlin, who's played by John Cassidy, who mostly spent her time in the company of Governor Hayes. Also is a suburban housewife, Linda Wright, played by Andrea Martin, with her plastic surgeon husband, Randy, who's played by Steve Campman. They also had everything that, that the island has to offer, including cliff diving lessons, and of course reggae music, and so on and so forth. But that is until all the trouble had started when a villain who happens to be the Prime Minister named Solomon Gundy is played by Adolf Caesar. And the Prime Minister's man had caused a lot of trouble to get Club Paradise to close legally. So they had to use some of their intelligence for Governor Hayes to find out what's happening to the future of St. Nicholas. So, so of course they had to they had to skin dive to the yacht not before Jack brings in some helium tank and all this other stuff when they were already being captured by all the police and, and wound up in jail. And prior to Gunny's strong arm tactics if that doesn't work, he ordered the entire military to take over of the island. And that's where it becomes a huge problem. So then you know with the help of, of his friends they decided to stop Gundy from taking over the entire island to leave St. Nicholas to, to be part of it and heads for you know, Cayman Islands where now Jack finally creates a new tagline for Club Paradise as simply your hot spot for fun along with guns in the sun <laughs> yeah that's funny and this was very uh, very fun to watch too I, I, I really did enjoy it as much as some people did I know my dad loved this movie a lot even had the soundtrack on, on LP and all its others. It even has the film too as well. And I <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in quite a long time since I last bought this DVD and when I watched it it was as hilarious as I remember it. Um, there, there was a lot of scenes where I remember that one scene where Jack actually hooked up is fixing the water pump since it was lagging. Hooked up the shower and suddenly when Linda White went on to take a shower, <laughs> suddenly it, it, it went on full blast and it actually blew her away. <laughs> and you, you can only see her... <laughs> her legs flying around. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it, it just it got me laughing every time I saw that scene. And there, there were tons of funny scenes in this movie. Uh, I, I just... <laughs> Can't, can't help but laugh at, at it. It's, it was too much. I'm sorry. But they, they had a lot of good stuff too. Even the scene where, where you know, Barry and Barry, you know, both played by that by Rick Moranis and Eugene Larry were both smoking pot, and they're they're trying it out to see how how good it looks. It's, it's, wow. that's a good one. And all this other stuff that they went into this production on. It's such a shame, though, that this movie had some negative reviews. I think this movie deserves a whole lot better than, than what you expect. It's not played on TV that much, but if you get a chance, you definitely should buy the DVD. Or VHS, for that matter, to, to see this film for yourself. It's just... It's just definitely worth watching. I, I, it makes you want to go to the Caribbeans already. Yeah, I, I know. I, I felt the same way, too. Because I used to go to Cancun, Mexico. It was a great place to ever go to. It's definitely like the Caribbean, but even... It has beautiful beaches and a whole lot of fun. It just makes you want to go to the beach and have fun. Yeah. Um, Robin Williams was, was hilarious in this movie as well. And I, I really enjoyed his performance in this one, too. But in a, in a very underrated film. And, a lot of great cast too. Um, Rick Moranis once again with Eugene Levy were, were great. Peter O'Toole, I thought he was, I thought that was one of his best roles. I mean, it isn't Lawrence of Arabia kind of performance, but I think it worked 
pretty well as far as his character is concerned. And, and yeah, a lot of good actors in this movie too. With John Cassidy, Andrea Martin, Brandon Murray, you know, who's actually very good playing a key role as the developer named Boyd Zub. He was great because he was also the co-writer of this film. Yeah, and also Adolf Caesar, you know, this had to be the best villain that he ever played in a movie like this. After his scene-stealing role in The Soldier Story, he's actually very good here. It's just a shame that he passed away and before he got released. Because you know? he would have been in a lot of good stuff after that. You know, think about that. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend this movie. If you love going to Caribbeans and all that, or, or just have fun watching you know, all your favorite actors, including Robin Williams, this is definitely for you. But I think it's a great film. It's no Caddyshack when it comes to comedies, but I think it's definitely worth watching. It, you know, it's better than nothing. You know? So anyway, I give Club Paradise three and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.